Hi there, my name's Bruce Rain from Brankus Creations, and in this video I'm going to be recapping a Macintosh LC faster than anyone else in the world that I'm aware of. So today I'm going to try and set a record of the fastest recapping in the world. Not that I think anyone's bothered to time it before, but uh, you may as well be first, hey? So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a Macintosh LC, uh, which has 15 surface mount electrolytic capacitors that all need to be changed. It's a nice small board, so it's very agile. Uh, I'm going to time the whole thing and then I'll divide it by 15 to give a per capacitor speed. Um, and then we'll see just how fast I can do it. Now, I should mention that this is a customer's board. Uh, which means that I have to do a good job on this. I will not be cutting any corners. I'll be making sure that the finished product is as good as any that I do. I'm armed with my hot air rework station. I've got my soldering iron. I have got my special go faster juice uh, made from fermented grapes. If that runs out before I finish, there will be trouble. I've got, uh, I've got my flux. I've got lots of tweezers, I've got solder, I've got my replacement caps down here. I'm filming this with three cameras. I've got camera one, I've got camera two, and I've got my microscope camera, which is camera three. So without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, that's all the capacitors off. Now time for cleaning. Okay, pads are clean, ready for the new caps to go on.
multitasking. done. Now of course the time doesn't mean anything if it doesn't work so the next thing I'm going to do is put it in the ultrasonic cleaner, get it clean, get it dry and then test it. So here's the finished product and I have to say that I'm pretty pleased with the end result. Before I test it here's a little bit of information about the Mac LC. The LC in the name stands for low cost and it was released as an entry-level Macintosh in October 1990. It's one of only two Macs that use a 68020 CPU, the other being the Mac 2, which was Apple's very first modular Mac. Apple didn't want the LC to compete with its more powerful models, so it always had very modest performance and was limited to a maximum of 10 megabytes of RAM. However, it was the first entry-level Mac that allowed you to connect your own monitor, and it also introduced the LC PDS slot, which became a standard across many future models. The LC didn't have a math coprocessor, also known as a floating point unit, but there was a PDS FPU available as an upgrade. Many of the Ethernet cards available at the time also had the option to add an FPU. The LC had built-in video and a video RAM slot which allowed either a 256KB or 512KB VRAM SIM to be installed. Interestingly though, unlike the LC's successors, there was no onboard VRAM, so a VRAM SIM must be installed in order to get an image. Okay, so now it's time for testing. As you can see, I don't actually have a case for the Macintosh LC, but I have all of the bits and pieces that will allow me to start it up and test it. So, let's switch it on. Right, well we've got a chime, that's always a good sign. And it looks like we're about to get some video. Yep, we've got video. We've got a mouse cursor, and the next thing will be hopefully a happy face. Okay, there's the happy Mac face, and there is the welcome to Macintosh. This is currently booting into system 7.1. Okay, this is de defaulted to black and white because uh, it doesn't have a PRAM battery in it. So let's bring up the old monitors here, and let's get that onto colors 256 so now we have a nice colorful little apple logo in the corner there and let's just have a quick look and we are looking at there we go macintosh lc with four megabytes of ram okay that's 32 minutes and 39 seconds it took me to recap the board with 15 capacitors that works out at two minutes and 11 seconds per capacitor Okay, so the challenge is set. Let's see if someone else can do it faster. I do hope you enjoyed this video and please press the like button if you did and thanks for watching.